Hey kitty, how are you? He's hunting some vole or field mouse. Start eating the bushes. They've got to start moving out. Come on, ladies. Out you go. Come on. Come on. Out you go. Come on. Come on. Off you go. Come on. Come on. Out you go. Going out to the field, your daytime field place. Come on. Good sheepies. Yeah. <laughs> Too late again, ladies. Sorry. Don't get cross at my dog. It's not her fault, it's my fault. You just don't want to get cross at me, do you? Eating your pasta like grass. Is that grass pasta? They're gonna stay there being annoyed. But I'm gonna open this out for them to go out here. Annoyed that they're not allowed to go out with their flock. Got in. <laughs> swallows or our swallows. I think they're thinking of leaving. Any day now I'm going to come out and they won't be here.
Look at the horse chestnuts, beech, larch, horse chestnuts, and horses. I'm in here in one of the plantations. This is Gilda Rose growing. So this rowan is doing well. So is the dock and thistle. But what, look at the ladybug right there in amongst the dock leaves. But this daisy I planted, this oxide daisy, that's gonna do well. And then there's a tiny little hawthorn right here. So we're getting there slowly but surely. So I'm up in this plantation. Here's a rowan and some more rowans around. The spindle is beginning to turn. Spindles are gorgeous when they turn colors. When they get big, they're all that color and it's gorgeous. Anyway, here's Carl the oak. He's doing really well. Carl the big leafed oak. So he's looking lovely. More, he's surrounded by rowans and horses grazing on the other side of the fence. And there's Maya. Oh, and the spindle. This is a spindle here. You can see it's changing its color as well. So over here, there's more daisies right there that I um, planted. So I'm gonna have to come in here and route out some of these uh, thistles. Here's some primroses. Yeah, I've got lots of um, foxglove seeds I'm gonna spread in here. The other thing that I absolutely love is spindles fruit. This is the fruit. They've not popped open yet, but they have orange seeds that are amazing. So here's another spindle that's beginning to turn as well. Look at that. Ah, such a gorgeous autumn color. Anyway, this is the first year. This is going to be the first autumn of this plantation and it's going to look gorgeous. Give it another few years and give Carl some time to grow. And when the foxgloves start happening, the first year they'll just be rosettes of foxgloves. But in 2026, hopefully we'll have loads of foxgloves because I want to get rid of a lot of those thistles. We have too many thistles. Don't want a monoculture. I like biodiversity, as many of you already know. And also, when you have biodiversity, you have lovely colors. Look at that. So, this is going to be lovely. Loverly, how are you, old girl? I've just let them out into this fresh area of grass. So they've been in here, so you can see they've grazed it down and manured it very well. Isn't that right, puppers? Good dogs. Yeah, good dogs. They're still here. All lining up, getting ready to go. Soon. I so miss their chatter when they leave. It's probably about 30 of them, but there's a lot more flying around, coming and going and flapping about. their annual pilgrimage home to us and then off to South Africa to fatten on winter African insects. Hey, kitty. How are you? Yes, you beautiful kitty. Mm. Ow, ow, don't do that. Anyway, there's the swallow gatherings. One day I'll come out and they won't be here. 